In this lesson, we are going to be talking about the coroner's toolkit. Now, the coroner's toolkit was certainly the first open source set of tools that were available for forensic purposes, and it came out in 1999. It was actually presented, as you can see here, as part of a computer forensics analysis class in 1999. You can see examples in the forensic discovery book written by Dan Farmer and Vitsi Venema. So we've got the coroner's toolkit. It's open source, but it's also really old. And again, it was one of the first examples of actually doing computer forensics in an automated fashion, and certainly from an open source perspective. Now, along with the coroner's toolkit, you got a set of tools, one of which was called the grave robber. And that captured information from the file system that you were looking at. There were also tools that allowed you to look at patterns of access for files that were both dead or alive. And of course, there were also tools that allowed you to recover deleted files and another tool that allowed you to recover cryptographic keys. Now, as it says here, there's a warning. The software is not for the faint of heart. And the thing about it, when the coroner's toolkit first came out, it wasn't easy to get. You almost had to know somebody in order to get your hands on the coroner's toolkit. Eventually, though, it was released, and you can see that it's available here on this particular website. Now, I would show you the coroner's toolkit in action, except that, as I said, it's really old and it'd have to have a really old operating system in order to get it installed. I actually downloaded it and you know, it's still available. You can download it yourself. You can download it, but it's really designed to run on older versions of Linux or FreeBSD or BSD or OpenBSD or Sun OS. The newer versions of Linux have a much newer kernel as well as newer development libraries, and it doesn't compile or run as well on the newer operating systems. So if you're interested in forensics from a historical standpoint, and certainly from the standpoint of doing forensics on more of a pure Unix system, so something like Solaris or SunOS, you could certainly take a look at the coroner's toolkit. As I said, it's certainly available. If you go to the website shown here on this web page, you can go there and download it, get it compiled and running on your system of choice. Now, the other thing that's available here is a mem dump tool, and that allows you to dump the memory from Solaris, BSD, and Linux systems. And again, as we've discussed in other lessons, doing a dump of memory allows you to do more of a live target acquisition so you can see what's actually running and be able to acquire the data from things like open browser sessions, for example, or other programs that are currently in operation that wouldn't be storing out to the hard drive. So getting memory live from a running system can be really helpful and important. And again, there's this tool here called MemDump, which may allow you to do that. But again, as is noted here, this software hasn't been maintained in a really long time, and they actually suggest using SleuthKit, and we'll cover SleuthKit in another lesson.